Good morning everyone, I am Dhananjay Kumar and I am an MVP on Connected System. In this uh, learning video, I am going to show you how we can create a basic REST service. To create a basic REST service, just uh, go ahead and open your Visual Studio and create a new project. From the WCF tab, uh, select WCF Service Application Project Template in Visual Studio 210. And if you are using Visual Studio 2008, you will be getting this WCF Service Application Project Template inside the web tab. So just go ahead and create a WCF Service Application. You can see that WCF has uh, created some default uh, code for you. Go ahead and delete all those uh, default code which got created by WCF because you really don't need that. From your service implementation class and as well as from your contract also. We don't need any data contract because purpose of our video is to show you how we can create a very basic REST service. Now what all you need to do is that uh, I have a string get data. It, it would be taking uh, it would be taking an uh, integer value. As you know, in REST service, we cannot uh, pass input parameter any type other than a string. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to modify it as a string. Finally, it will be returning a string to us. Now we need to construct this using web get. Fine. Let me. Uh, uh, increase the size of the font for you so that will have a better view of that so what i'm going to do actually uh, in this uh, video is that i'll be creating two operation contract in one operation contract or in one method i'll be constructing the uri for you and other con in other method we won't be constructing in uri so the method where we are not constructing the uri we will be uh, accessing that particular um, method through rest service using their function name using their method name and on the other method where we are constructing the URI, we will be accessing that uh, method with the URI which we are constructing. So let's go ahead and make it 60 for you. Fine. Now I am uh, giving get data is using method name, something like that. Fair enough. And the other um, other method which I am uh, going to create, as all we know that in REST service everything is a uh, met everything is a resource with a unique name, unique URI, and that unique name is called unique is called URI of that particular method. And we, let us say get data is using URI URI. Just say URI, and it will be taking an string two and value. Fine. And here you change this to only method. Fair enough. Here I'll be constructing the URI. So URI would be URI template equal to let us say get data. And then since we have one a parameter in this, if you see a string value, we need to give exact same name here as the second parameter second uh, path of our uh, um, URI and make sure since this is a parameter it should be in the curly braces fine so we have constructed the URI so we are going to access this get data using URI with the URI base address slash get data and slash the value on the other hand this particular method we have not constructed so I am going to access it using Mm, uh, the method name and uh, and question mark and I'll be passing value input parameter as value equal to the value to what we want to pass now go ahead and implement this service implement this method in our service class and here you are just make it as a public just give the default quotes and here you can return this is a method name right return value I am sorry I am returned by method name here enough go ahead and implement the other method which we have this one 
and make it as again public and say value plus I am returned by your I mean. Fair enough. Now since all we know that uh, to implement a WCF REST service, we uh, binding available to us is web HTTP binding. So there are three ways you can uh, create a REST service. The first way is that you can configure the endpoint here in your web.config. The other way is that you can configure the web point in a host in a console application and host your service in a REST service in a console app. I'll, I'll be showing you that demo in further videos and the third point is the third way is that you can uh, rely on the factory classes which comes uh, uh, with WCF so what all you need to do is that if you are using uh, Visual Studio 210 just go ahead and um, comment service hosting environment line and if you are using Visual Studio 2008 then go ahead and comment all the endpoint configuration make sure that your your metadata is not get enabled because this does not support the metadata so here I have commented this, click on your service file and open view markup, fair enough and here you have something called factory, sorry, factory equal to system dot service model dot activation dot web service host factory chain of system dot service model dot web service host factory is a class which uh, is a class which comes uh, with WCF which allows you to create a array service if you want to see this class uh, just uh, go ahead in your class here you have system dot service model dot web you can see this class here system dot service model dot activation dot web service host factory web service host factory right we are just using this class over there fine now up to this point we have created our service we have we have created our contract here we have created our contract and in the contract one method we are um, uh, constructing the URI in the, for this particular method and for the other we are not constructing the URI, URI. so we are going to access this method using um, the method name itself then we have implemented this uh, this to control this to method over here then we configured the endpoint for a service using the factory classes web service host factory class which comes as a part of WCF now go ahead and run your service it's running in WCF test client actually uh, really I don't need uh, I don't want to run it in WCF test client I want to run it in the browser so for that what I need to do is that let's run it again oh sorry let's give me a moment go to search explorer right click on your service file and click in view in browser here you see that endpoint not found so now if you uh, go to your uh, um, your methods you can see you have a base address that get data slash value so you can access this get data using URI using base address slash get data slash value so what how you can access is that just open the notepad I'll show you format format Let's take it 28 and now if you see our base address is dot SBC up to here right just go ahead this is your base address now to access that this you have given get data slash value right so go here get data slash any value which you want let us say I'm giving value Dhananjaya so Dhananjaya is the input parameter input for the string value now go ahead and copy paste this in your browser 
you can see that uh, we are getting Dhananjay I am returned from URI name here we are using the this method to call get data slash Dhananjay and here the get data slash value which we constructed the URI but other other method get data using method we have not constructed the URI for this so we will be accessing this using the method name itself so for so for that what we need to do is that we, this is our base address right then the method name exact method name we need to give here the method name is get data using method question mark the exact parameter name you have to give here value and then something let us say Dhananjay now go ahead copy it in your browser and you can see Dhananjay I am returned by the method name what I am going to do is that if you change this value to value 1 are not the exact parameter name which you have given in the method you can see you are not getting the value which you are passing as input parameter so we, you need to make sure that uh, the parameter name and the and the name you are calling through the url must be the same so here uh, we are done uh, in this video i have seen you that how we can create a basic rest service and can access them using the method names or using the uri name thank you so much uh, looking forward to uh, meet you again thank you